Hello everyone. Welcome to Computer Science 767. We're going to start a journey to look at intelligent and autonomous agents. This is a course offered mostly to honors level students at the University of Auckland. I am Jamo Liu. I am uh, a lecturer at the School of Computer Science and together with my colleague Mike Bali, we're going to deliver this course to you. For my part of the course, which is roughly about six weeks of material, I'm going to focus mostly on multi-agent systems. Um, the course assumes a basic first course in artificial intelligence. So you can think of it as a natural continuation from this first AI course. So let's start our class. So some may argue that developing artificial agents amounts to the core theme of artificial intelligence. By an agent, we mean an autonomous entity that is able to function in and interact with an environment. So this involves uh, the agent being able to perceive the environment and uh, deliberate the input signals from the environment and then perform a range of actions to potentially change the state of the environment. This agent could be, as an example, a self-driving car, a virtual bot that participates in internet bidding and auctions, uh, a delivery robot, or a chess-playing software program. So our focus is really on the deliberation step where information are received, processed, and then decisions are made uh, to send to the effectors. In real life applications, there are really not a lot of scenarios where we see an individual agent who functions by itself. Uh, in a lot of the actual industrial applications, we have multiple agents who are sharing the same environment. Uh, so my part of the course will be uh, really focusing on this type of scenario. So the agents may participate in a collaborative task or they may compete with each other or they're just randomly uh, trying to accomplish their separate goals. So instead of focusing on the action of a single agent, we're interested in the functions of multiple agents. Uh, and in such a system, the agent's behaviors are inevitably affected by other agents. Typically, the agents are able to observe the actions of others uh, and act in response to them. And maybe there is a possibility of being able to communicate with the other agent. Uh, also, agents through this interaction may learn from each other uh, and improve their performance. So this brings a whole extra level of complexity that are not covered in the single agent case. A multi-agent system has the following characteristics. First of all, decentralization, which means that typically there is no designated controlling agent. The agents coordinate with each other through observing their behaviors. Uh, they may communicate with each other and implement certain system level policies such as constraints, uh, but there is really no controller that dictates the action of a single agent. Uh, this means that the agent's autonomous, right? Typically in this course, the agent will have their own goals, uh, whether to search for the solution of a problem or completing search certain tasks or re just receiving higher rewards. Uh, and they are self-centered in that they are concerned solely about themselves. They just uh, try to reach their own goal without uh, consideration of uh, the benefits of other agents. So this is a bit different from the assumptions in distributed computing where coordination is seen as a given property. And therefore, the agents in our context do not necessarily coordinate with others. Right. Another crucial property is that each individual agent typically does not have a full picture of the environment at any given time. 
uh, or simply the system is too large and complex for an agent to make practical use of such knowledge. And therefore, the agents need to make decisions based on their partial knowledge. Right. There are actually many application of multi-agent systems. Uh, we can see multi-agent system being applied, for example, in developing computer games and many tasks in entertainment industry and also in transportation, navigation, rescue teams, uh, smart cities, Internet of Things, and so on. So there are endless applications. Uh, some may argue that real-world industry level application can usually be appropriately modeled as multi-agent system as um, opposed to a single agent system. Uh, I encourage you to uh, click on the videos on the slides to get uh, a more idea of what I'm talking about. So investigation of multi-agent system are driven by a number of questions. First of all, uh, how do agents solve problems in a distributed and autonomous way? So we really want to design multi-agent system for complex tasks. Uh, this involves decomposing the problems so that uh, the agents uh, are utilized to find robust and effective solutions. Uh, secondly, uh, when we design multi-agent system, the biggest question would be coordination, whether they're able to um, cooperate with each other in a cohesive way. So how do agents with different goals work together? How do they reach consensus? And what sort of outcome uh, are their collective behaviors? So these are really, really important. And thirdly, uh, multi-agent learning is a, is a big thing, which is very different from single-agent learning. So how do agents improve themselves through interaction with the others? Uh, there is the, uh, when we have multiple agents in the environment, there's a possibility that agents are learning from other agents. So there's not only just people who learn, but also people who teach others. Uh, so how do social patterns emerge as a result of such collective learning uh, process? Uh, these are all very, very important questions. Uh, we are going to, in this course, focus on the algorithmic and game theoretic foundation of multi-agent systems. Some may argue that game theory really plays a fundamental role in the development of multi-agent system. And, and therefore, uh, I will spend uh, quite a big proportion of uh, my class talking about the beginning of game theory and how it's related to artificial intelligence. We're going to look at four topics. So first of all, we're going to look at several scenarios where multi-agent system can be used to solve uh, optimization problems. And secondly, we going into the theory of games. In particular, we'll look at non-cooperative games and we introduce uh, equilibria concepts such as Nash equilibria. And then we move on along the line of game theory to look at sequential action games, look at uh, games with partial information, to look at repeated games, and so on. Uh, and then lastly, we're going to look at reinforcement learning, in particular how it is relevant to multi-agent system. Uh, and uh, there are a number of books that I rely on. Uh, one of them will be the book Multi-Agent System, written by Shoham and uh, Leiden Brown. Uh, you can find it online. There are other books, for example, uh, the new reinforcement learning book written by Sutton and Barto uh, will be used at the later part of the course.